Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. Hey, Alien Institute members. Max von Neumann at your service. I'm here today to invite you to the Logic Series. Admittedly, the videos in this series are going to be presented somewhat randomly within our other videos. Each logic video considering principles of good reasoning. Reasoning that is needed to promote a scientific mind. Okay, so let's break this down. The way we are going to approach this topic will be very informal. That may sound strange for a logic series, but to really be formal, we'd have to work through a book or a structure that was functioning in order. I'm just here to give you some ideas that come out of logic and leave it to you to self-improve. Of course, we will discuss formal definitions at times, but to become a really good logician, order really matters. The logic videos will ultimately be added to the logic playlist beginning with this video titled Logic Series. I decided to do a few of these videos for two reasons. First, from what I've noticed in general, the educational system of today really appears to be lacking in the critical thinking and logic departments. Some students escape a formal education without taking one logic course at all. Secondly, as scholars at Alien Institute, we are working hard to build our minds to be doers and thinkers of the future. A course of study in logic, whether in school or self-prescribed, helps us to present ideas clearly, look at options of thought, formulate solutions, build efficient processes, and for us in particular, can assist in building a space-faring science-based civilization. As corporals in the future math and space race, as well as biotech, I suggest we look at logic as a means to formulate scientific solutions to today's problems and problems of the future. To simplify our thought model, and I say our thought model, because there are many ways to approach formulating ideas, our goal is to present scientific ideas better and more clearly. So to get into the world of Alien Institute, let's take a look at the Venn diagram. In the Venn diagram, the rectangle is representing the Alien Institute Universe. Call it a universe of possible ideas, if you like. Now, the circle on this side is representing emotions. This is the area we will try to avoid. If you are trying to win a debate, which we are not trying to do, then you'd want to spend most of your time using an emotional argument. Unfortunately, they are effective on many people. Now, if you're trying to solve a problem, we want to live on the outside of the emotion circle. Think of it this way. The universe gives us a potential to find a solution. And if we find a solution, it is because we found it in the universe within the logic circle found on this side, in which we can support our conclusion slash solution. 
Of course, emotional arguments can also be logical at the same time. That's the striped area shown here between the two circles. Call it the intersection of the two circles. But much of the emotions circle are invalid ideas based in a different part of the brain. I'm not saying that emotions are useless. They can be a valuable tool in some cases, but we will try to avoid them in the logic department. Now there are other areas on the diagram that don't fall exactly into the logic or emotion arena. It's more of a gray area. These areas are in the universe of ideas where science hasn't grown enough yet to substantiate an idea's truth or invalidity. Simply speaking, this area is where an idea has not been thought of yet. But, potentially, one day when it is thought of will ultimately be true. That's this area right here. The other area is an area that hasn't been thought of yet either. But when it is thought of, the idea or hypothesis will be disproven. That's this other area over here. Now the universe is a place where lots of creativity takes place. And I think, and of course this is just my opinion, that it is a good practice to have a balance of logic and crazy ideas. If we just accept every theory that's been around for a long time without questioning it from time to time, then we will not grow. We will talk about thought experiments and imagination a lot on this channel, but for the logic series, we will see how to treat ideas in a logical manner. So again, as thinkers, we want to stay in the arena of proof and induction. And in this arena, you will build skills that propel thought. Keep in mind, I will be presenting only small bits of logic as formally as I can without going into too much detail. The reason for doing a summarized logic series is to spur your thirst to be logical while leaving me more time to detail out in a really formal manner your mathematics education. So since this logic series is just touching on topics I remember covering as a young man, it certainly does not replace a four to six month course of study. The hope is these few discussions will motivate you to start a self-study program to become an incredible thinker. Because as you may already know, that at the core of a successful person is logic.